Hey y'all, I've got another tutorial for you. First off, I want to apologize for my voice. I'm fighting a really bad cold, so I sound horrible. But I wanted to get this out for you and show you how to make these nylon flowers. If you've looked at any of the Webster's Pages new stuff lately, you see they have some little flower sprays out that, that have some of these nylon flowers in them. And I wanted to show you how to make them. Um, they're not hard at all. They've been around forever, so you can find all kind of tutorials out there on the web on how to make them, but I'm going to show you how I did mine. Um, this is the one I'm going to show you how to make today with the frilly edge, but you need something round and you need some wire. This wire that I'm using is a uh, 20 gauge wire that I got at Michael's. You could probably use a 22 or 24 and it wouldn't be quite as stiff as this, but they didn't, didn't have those sizes. And for the frilly edge, you're going to wrap it around something. In this case, I used of all things a meat thermometer because I couldn't find a skewer. But um, something small, you wrap it around. I'm just going to trim this off. And um, you pull it off. Then you're going to take your jewelry making tools or some pliers or whatever you've got handy. And you're going to grab a hold of both ends. And you're just going to pull it out. And that gives you your your crinkle in your wire. Then you need something round. For these petals I used just a, a paint bottle. For this little small one I wrap my wire around the end of a highlighter. So you can get it in different sizes depending on what you use to wrap your wire around. So you're just going to wrap it around, in this case the bottle, and twist it up a little bit. Twist it up to get it tight. Use your pliers again to get a hold of it and twist it good and tight. I'm just going to trim that off. And there's your petal. Now if you didn't want it to be um, with the ruffle on it, uh, it would just be plain like this one just a plain circle and you can you know, stretch it out or flatten it or shape it however you want to. But for this one I made it the ruffly. And what you need is some stocking material. I just went to Walmart picked up a pair of kids white stockings. I thought I would actually be able to find some maybe red or something with it being Christmas but they didn't have any red. I tried to color the nylon with some ink but it doesn't want to dry very well on there. So it would be better if your um, stocking material is actually whatever color you want it to be. But you're going to take your petal, and you're going to push it into the, into the stocking. And you're going to grab it at the top, and you're just going to tug down on the stocking to pull it tight over your, over your petal. Now what I'm using to tie it off is just some transparent nylon thread that I got at um, Walmart. I'm just going to grab it in between my fingers and start wrapping it around the base of the petal. And I just go around several, several, several times. I didn't tie it off, I'm just wrapping. And when I think I've got enough, I wrap it around my fingers so that I can make a loop and tuck the, the spool down in there to um, tie it off the bottom. Then I'm going to do that one more time. Just wrapping it around my fingers. Tucking that spool through. And pulling the thread tight. Okay. I'm going to trim off this thread. And hopefully this will work easy this time. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But you're going to trim to one side of your stem and then when you pull your stocking if you get it to work right most of the time all the excess will go to the to the left side when you pull it so you can trim it off it just kind of got stuck on there this time but that's not a big deal you just trim it off and there's one petal now for this flower I made five petals and I took some stamens and colored them with Copic marker. Just going to fold those in half and 
they're going to be in the center of my flower, so I'm just going to set them in one of those petals. And take some more of the nylon thread, and we're going to start wrapping again. I'm just going to keep wrapping several times until you think it's secure. Then add another, another petal to your flower. You're going to just keep doing this till you have all four attached. This isn't really hard. It really isn't. Um, you look at them and you figure, how in the world would you make that? But it comes out pretty, pretty good. Like I said, if you can find, you can actually go online and find places that specialize in the nylon flowers that you can buy colored nylon and you can buy the um, wire and the thread. There's different ways you can tie it off. I've seen some people use a thin wire. I've seen them use some kind of elastic thread that will just pop off when you pull tight on it. So it just depends on your preference and how you want to use it. And you can make tulips and hyacinths. There's all kind of flowers out there that you can make. It doesn't just have to be this kind. Once again, I'm going to wrap that around my, my fingers so I can tuck my spool of thread in there to tie this off. I'll do it one more time. Trim this off. And I'm actually going to get some of this florist tape and start wrapping it around the base of my flower to make sure that it stays good and tight tucked together. Plus to cover up all those little stems and whatnot. Then you're just going to start bending your petals out. And you'll have to work with them a little bit to get your get them spaced like you want them. And there's your flower. See, it's not hard. Not hard at all. So you can give it a try and um, you can make little sprays or you can make the single flowers. You can make colored if you can find colored stockings. Um, but I just wanted to show you how to do that and I hope you give it a try. So thanks for watching. Bye.